It seems we can barely finish a Kairosoft game these days before another hits the shelves in order to suck up the loose change from our collective wallets. To be fair to the developer, Grand Prix Story did see its way onto the Android platform as an exclusive earlier in the year. It's hard to feel cynical and claim the game as a simple cash grab, because when it comes down to it, the game is just as great as you'd expect it to be. It's no surprise to find out that Grand Prix Story is yet another management sim, this time placing you at the reins of a racing company determined to prove their worth on the worldwide circuit. Strangely, unlike most of the recent releases from Kairosoft, Grand Prix Story takes a trip back in time and feels much like Game Dev Story, as your company revolves around the production cycle of individual vehicles, with each of your employees fulfilling basic roles that can be upgraded over time, either with research points or financial investments. However, where Game Dev had you releasing your final product into the wild, Grand Prix places you on a virtual track, pitting you against other virtual companies and their cars in a bid to attract sponsors and cash prizes to fund new projects. Cash can also be earned by putting your various drivers to work outside your company, or by employing special characters with lower stats that inject funds into your project. As such, there's a much lower chance of becoming bankrupt, allowing you to focus on patching the holes in any cash flow problems before ruining your game permanently. Grand Prix Story is presented in its typical cartoonish pixel art style, and while watching the simulated races can be tedious, there are moments when you'll hang on every pixel your car gains on another car in the hopes you'll make a pass on the final corner. Ultimately, Grand Prix Story is essentially game dev story for those with a penchant for vehicles. That isn't to say casual gamers without a deep knowledge of racing can't get a kick out of it, but it certainly helps. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.